Hello everyone, my name is Titus Bennett and I'd like to welcome everyone to another episode of Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life. On our last episode, I gave a powerful, powerful example of how destructive negative thinking patterns are no matter what advantages that you have, whether that be money, whether that be uh, status, or whatever you have. And how also, how empowering positive thinking patterns are no matter what the obstacle that you have. So now that we firmly understand how powerful our thinking is altogether, now we can move on in our journey of truly, truly understanding how to change our life. As we go through life, we have to, we have to define, or we have to be able to articulate what it is that we want in life. Now, there's unfortunately, there's many people that can't do that, that can't articulate, that cannot define what they want out of life. So what happens is they become just like that proverbial leaf without a tree. Wherever the wind blows, that leaf will follow because there's no foundation. It has no foundation. So, now the thing that we have to do in order to correct that problem is what I call, we have to enforce the six P's, the six P rule in our life. But that's another thing. What I wanna do is I wanna stay focused on being able to articulate what we want out of life. Because when you can articulate what you want out of life, you have defined what success is for you. Now, the first principle in inquiry, in acquiring success, any type of success, is first being able to define, being able to define what success is for you. Now, I grew up. I grew up in the uh, in the Midwest, and I, I, success for us. And I think more on a global level now. Success is actually uh, success is is equated with having money. So if you if you are successful, you have money. No matter what you did to get that money, if you have money, you are successful because with that money. You get attention, you get material possessions and things of this nature. And this is how we have come, we have grown as a global community to define success. Now, once when I was living in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, I was walking down a the, one of the busier streets in Atlanta called Peach Street. And I was walking from uh, a spot that was called Hooters towards the underground station. Now. This was a time in Atlanta when the Falcons had just drafted one of the one of the most premier uh, quarterbacks at the time. Now, this was also a time where the Hummer just became popular and people started to drive the Hummer on the streets. So this particular uh, 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 NFL player, he this very famous NFL player, he had a Hummer and he was coming down Peachtree Avenue. Now. On his Hummer, he had like 20 TV screens. He had screens uh, circling the window. He had screens on that back window. He had screens on the back of his seat. He had screens on the sun visors. I mean, he had screens everywhere. He had the, the rims that continued to spin when the car actually stopped. So as he was riding down the street, riding down Peachtree, everybody was going, yeah, 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 yeah. So me and my wife, we were just, you know, continuing along our way, minding our own business. So what happened is the guy came up and started to roll very slowly right beside me and my wife. Now, at that point, I understood what was going on. So I asked my wife really loud because he had lowered the windows. I asked her really loud. I said, now, do them rims make that car, you know, safer? Do they make the car drive faster do they make the car better she said no I said so do you know why he's doing it she said why I said because he wants attention he wanted attention our attention he couldn't get our attention he had everybody else's attention but he couldn't get our attention and he had to have it 
to to solidify that he to himself that he was successful so his uh, his solidification of him being successful came from outside so whenever our success whenever our success is defined by a car by money by something material by anything material in actuality what we have done is we have de defined ourselves ourselves by these things now so what we're saying is that if we don't have these things we're not successful now to answer it, it, now the question is if we don't have material possessions are we not successful and to answer this question what I want to do is I want to use the word belief believe in the position where I would usually use thinking now if you believe if you believe that success is your bank account that success is 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 your car that success is your wife that success is your husband that success is all of these material things now if you believe that that is what success is yes you are a failure by your own definition of success you have become a failure so but this is wrong of course this is wrong of course this is wrong so we have to we have to redefine success we have to redefine our definition of success we have to broaden the scope of what success is and we have to detach the meaning from money we have to detach the meaning from money in order to truly arrive at what success truly means to us we have to detach it from money now i'm not saying that 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 we you know that we should not be concerned with money or or material things like that i'm not saying that but what i am saying is that if you create something of value if you create something of value and you give it to the people you will become rich anyway simply because of the fact that you're doing something you have to do something that you love in order to create something of value you have to do something that you love in order to create something of any true value so now that makes me remember that makes me remember when my grandmother was alive she used to cook every Sunday and every holiday. She loved to cook for her family. She loved to cook for her family. She loved it. So we grew up valuing that. Me and my brother and all the, a lot of the other people in our family, we grew up valuing that. Because when we were sitting around that table and we were eating, we would all say, Man, Tina, you put your foot in it, man. You put your foot in it. You know, meaning that it was extraordinary good. So, and, and this is what I'm saying. The point is, is that she loved what she did. She loved what she was doing. And the result of what she was doing was, was, was we felt the love in the food that she prepared for us. Now, what I want to do now, well, well, let me just do it. Let me just do it. Okay, uh, storms will come, this we know for sure, this we know for sure, but baby tell me can you stand the rain? <laughs> alright, alright, I'm just playing. But now, the point that I was trying to make with my bad singing, the point that I was trying to make is that there are going to be storms. There, there is no life that is storm free, that is obstacle free, free, that is trial free. There is no life that is free of obstacles and trials. In the end, there is no life that is free of obstacle and trials. So what does this mean? This means that we have to do something that we truly love. Because if we do something that we truly love, when those obstacles and when those trials come into our life, then we will be able to push past them. We will be able to push past them. So now, 
what I would like for all of us to do is to is to truly sit down and define define what success means to us each individual each of us individually what does success mean to us not what it means to mom not what it means to dad not what it means to our brother not what it means to our sister not what it means to our our our, our, our spouse our husband or our wife and not to what it means for our kids but what it truly means for us and let's detach that uh, let's detach that definition from that definition money initially initially let's detach money from that definition so until the next episode of change your thoughts change your life this is titus bennett throwing the deuces at you peace